Hi, welcome to another tutorial of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about actions and how we can leverage actions in runtime settings. So first, we are going to see about actions and action best practices. Then we are going to see a quick demo about actions and how to create an action, how to uh, delete an action and uh, how we can uh, leverage action in runtime settings. So action is nothing but a building block of a Vuegen script. So whenever you create a new script in Vuegen, uh, three default actions will be created. Vuser underscore init action and Vuser underscore end. So these action are the building blocks. So you must have these three actions. So if you delete anything in the backend, the your script will be corrupted. So typically what we do is the business flow will be like uh, launching a web page, uh, searching for a product, checking out, log off. And if you take a banking application, uh, logging in, uh, check the balance, uh, transfer money or pay off the uh, credit card bills, etc. So if you have a typical business flows like login and log off, so you can keep that in uh, viewser underscore init and viewser underscore end respectively. And rest of the actions, uh, rest of the business uh, scenarios, you can create a different actions and you can record it in the appropriate file. So this will give a very uh, modularized approach. And also uh, you can reuse those in any, at any point of your uh, Vuegen script. And these actions, it's highly controllable, which means you can uh, uh, control the flow of the actions in the runtime settings. And also it is possible to import the actions and it is also possible to compare uh, two actions so that you know what's the difference between the actions and you can make the appropriate changes. And all the action name must begin with a, a letter and contains alphanumeric characters only, including underscore. And also it it should uh, compliant with the maximum number of characters allowed by the file system. I think it is 256. So the so these are the two important uh, um, rules uh, you need to follow when you are about to create an action in Vuegen. So before you start recording any business actions, I suggest you to create actions well ahead. So you can create in the recording pin on the go, but I I suggest you to create an action well before you start recording so that you can plan your uh, uh, recording strategy well before. And you need to follow the naming convention. Um, so this will help for the people who will be joining new to the team and also it will be helpful to you so that you can recognize, okay, this, this action will do this functionality. So I have seen people, they go by default, action one, two, three, four, five, and also uh, they will mess up with the uh, uh, order in the runtime settings. So don't do that, always have a naming convention. You can have the release name or you can have the uh, business uh, process name uh, or the uh, application name or the page name, etc. So you can define, there is no uh, thumb rule for the uh, naming convention. Based on your need, you can uh, 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 define your naming convention uh, practices. And also make sure that you are reusing the actions. Assume that uh, you have an application where the search is the frequent uh, uh, business uh, uh, flow. So instead of having search recorded every time whenever you create a new script, what you can do is you can create one gold script or a master script for search and then you can import that action in your uh, newly created scripts. Similarly, login, uh, log off and uh, um, searching for an item or uh, uh, ex another example is uh, uh, checking the balance, right? So these are some typical uh, actions uh, people will be doing. Uh, um, whenever you, whenever they started uh, their main business uh, actions. 
So you can reuse those stuff in your newly created scripts and also have blocks in the runtime settings. So blocks is like a folder. So whenever you're about to start a new laptop, what you do is you will partition your main disk and then in the secondary disk, you will have the your work related folder, personal related folders, music, videos, by uh, artists by uh, year right so follow the same strategy and define blocks and also you can distribute the load based on the weightage percentage randomness in the blocks so we are going to see about that in the demo but so these are the, some of the best practices you need to you can leverage uh, so that you can uh, 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 record script and load test your application without any issues now we are going to see a demo. So I'm going to open uh, Vuegen and I have already created a new script. So if you could see in the Solution Explorer, the new script has three actions. So the main parent folder is actions. So inside actions, I can see user init action and user underscore end. And in the extra files, you can see globals.h and runtime settings, parameters, recording report, and replay run results. So these are the building blocks of a Vuegen script, uh, particularly web HTTP HTML script. And as I said earlier, before you start recording, you need to understand your business and also you, can, you have to define the actions. So by default, it will create with the name action. So you can rename it by right clicking on the action so if you right click there will be an option like uh, for a delete uh, rename select file to compare which will help you to compare the files and uh, compare to external file and you can uh, move up uh, move down so you can basically you can rearrange so only this rearranging is for uh, only for us only for the uh, only for the testers basically, not for the uh, uh, load testing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this as say check balance. So if you rename and enter, you can see the name also changed here. So each action have the curly braces on and the return zero. So here you can write your uh, code. Or you can uh, record. Now I'm going to create another action. So to create another action, you can use the right click or go to design action, create new action. So in this menu, you can see there are four options available create new action, delete action, rename action and import action. So I'm going to create a new action. It will it will uh, display a dialog box where you have to enter the action name. So by default, it will go with action one, two, three, etc. But I'm going to rename it as uh, um, transfer. And I'm going to click on OK. So once you click on OK, here this solution explorer will get a refresh, and here you can see the action uh, transfer.c. Now we will see uh, how to import action in, in the newly created scripts. So to import an action, right click on the actions and click on import action. So now it will display one dialog box. Here you have to browse for the uh, Vuegen script. So just click on browse and select the script name. And here you couldn't see there are three actions uh, available in the thinktime.usr file. And I'm going to import the action.c. So just check this box and click on import. So once you click on import, the solution explorer will get a refresh. And here you can, you can see uh, the imported action has been imported uh, in the newly created scripts. So like this, you can achieve the reusability by importing the actions uh, in the newly created scripts. So this will save you a time and effort. Uh, instead of uh, recording, you can just import 
the action in your uh, script. So now if you want to delete an action, just right click on the action name which you want to delete and click on delete action. So you have to hit yes so that the particular action will be deleted in your solution explorer. So it is a permanent uh, deletion. Now we will see how to compare uh, two actions. So right now we have uh, uh, transfer and check balance. So I want to compare these two files. So what you can do is just right click on uh, transfer and just select file to compare. And now go to check balance and right click and click on compare to transfer.c. So once you selected that option, it will open win merge. So it's a utility by default, it will come with Vugen. And in the left side, you can see the transfer.c. And in the right side, you can see the check balance.c. And uh, the differences will be highlighted in the yellow. So by this way, you can compare two actions and you can make the necessary changes. And if you want to compare to the external file, you can always uh, go to compare to external file and you can uh, browse the file and it will open it in the uh, uh, win merge and then you can see the difference. And now we are going to see how to uh, uh, control the action, how to control the script flow using runtime settings. So just double click on runtime settings and go to run logic and here you can see there are uh, uh, two actions which are already created by us and it will automatically it will display in the uh, run. So here you can insert the action by clicking on this menu and if you want to create a block you can uh, insert the block. And so always go for the block uh, structure. So I have already explained this in the uh, one of the uh, previous video you can uh, go to that uh, video. So I'm going to give a high level overview. So if you want to create a block, select the run folder and uh, click on insert block. And inside the block, you can uh, insert the action by right clicking on the block name and selecting the appropriate actions. And similarly, if you want to delete, you can, uh, you can I mean, there is no need to delete here. There is no way to delete actually. Uh, you only you can remove it. So removal means doesn't delete your action. So delete the action, you have to use uh, the menu here. And I'm going to create another block. And uh, I'm going to add the action uh, as check balance. And I'm going to arrange this block zero as first and block one as second. And I'm going to use the run logic as uh, sequential. And uh, I'm not going to change any uh, properties here. So it will go by a default uh, property. A number of iteration is only one and uh, if you want to delete uh, uh, if you want to bring this user in it inside the block again you can do it and delete this i mean remove this and similarly remove user end and uh, right click block zero and go to user end and similarly you can uh, have user in it and also user uh, end and move down here and move up this one and move down to last. So now you can see this has some uh, meaning. So the block zero has check balance transfer and block one has only check balance. So likewise, based on your application uh, needs, you can uh, structureize your uh, blocks actions in the runtime settings. So make sure that that key takeaway is make sure that you have uh, uh, actions created already and follow the naming convention and uh, uh, to achieve the reusability import the actions and uh, have blocks in the run logic so that you can uh, 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 simulate the real world uh, scenario in your uh, load test and also it will help you to maintain your action and uh, uh, people who are newly joining to the team so they can get what the script will do uh, in the uh, uh, load test so thanks for watching if you have a time please uh, uh, go to my next tutorial. Thank you.